Okay, it's Apple Operating System Upgrade time. I'm going to start off with my 12.9 iPad Pro. Try to put iPad OS 17 on it. I've been running the betas. We're going to do the real thing today. I'm going to show you how I do it. Maybe give you a hand on taking care of it yourself. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good day. All right, like I said in the intro, we're going to put iPad OS 17, the real thing, on the iPad Pro today. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop down. I'm going to share my screen with you, show how to get it, how to put it on. And I've already showed you the public betas. You can look at this playlist up here. And I've showed you what I like and how to install it and all this stuff. Well, we're going for the real deal now. So let's drop down to the screen here switch my views there we go and y'all can see my screen now what we want to do before you start this you want to make sure you have a backup so mine is backed up to iCloud I've got a 200 gig plan and I've got it backed up to my NAS so what we want to do there we go all right you got to get that five finger swipe up so I'm going to close all my applications out we got a bunch of them Okay, so now we have it backed up. We have everything closed out. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go, I don't know why I keep looking at that camera. I need to look right here. We're gonna go to our settings. Let's do it one more time. Let's go to settings. We have a software update available right here on the left. And it's showing iPad OS 17, 6.11 gigabytes. And we're gonna go ahead and let it go now. Now, if you want to look at the content of the updates, you can go to that link right there, KBHT201222. We're going to hit update now. You're going to put your passcode in. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions. We're going to double agree. And we're going to request the update. Now, I don't have it to where it downloads the automatic update, so it will have to download it now. So we're going to download the update. It'll prepare it, and then it'll apply, and then you go through a restart in a whole bit. Okay, it says 38 minutes remaining, which I don't think it'll take that long, but... I'll bring you back when it's done or when it's when it's downloaded. Okay, that was 45 minutes. Let's uh, go and hit in, well, it's installing now. So more than likely what it will do, it'll go through a reboot, maybe two. Let's see what it is. Now it's about 45 minutes and it's starting to reboot. We'll come right back when it's gone and we'll uh, count the time on it. Okay, we're back. Uh, it's been almost an hour altogether. You can see we're on the screen here. We'll go ahead and put passcode in. Okay, software update complete to 17.0, which we'll see what the actual version is here in just a second. Uh, we'll go ahead and share analytics with the developers. Maybe that will help them fix bugs and stuff. All right. Display is up. My widgets are there. Weight Watchers YouTube Home. Let's go ahead and do general and about iPad OS version is 17.0.21a329. I don't know if this is the dot two or it doesn't look like it is. It may just be the iPhone has dot two, I'm not sure. Fourth gen, I'm sitting at 206.69 gigabytes. Got 8,000 photos and eight videos. All right, everything looks good on that. Um, 
multitasking and gestures, stage manager, all that's here, four and five finger gestures. Um, everything looks normal. There shouldn't be too much change from the um, update that I had. Everything looks almost the same. So there we have it. Let's see what Control Center looks like. Control Center looks good. Got my remote control, my stage manager, home camera, the whole bit. Camera looks good. Better than my webcam. All right. So there you have it. Everything looks good. Uh, can't wait to put through its paces and see how the battery life is and everything. That took me, now what I would recommend if you go back to your software updates, let me show you real quick about that software update. If you want to go ahead and get it quicker, you can go to the automatic download. Go ahead and have it downloaded so you don't have to go through the 45 minutes that I did. You can leave the iPad OS updates turned off to where it doesn't automatically install and you can do it yourself or you can let it just do it all, all yourself. So, it's what I recommend. Somebody else may say something different, but um, yeah, my widgets all look good and the whole bit. Seems very smooth. Not jittery. Next, we'll do the iPhone. We'll make another video on that. I have the iPhone XR or 10R, like I like to say. It's at the latest now. We'll put it iPad OS 7 or iOS 17 on it. So there you have it. One hour out of my day. Now I can go cut grass. So. Anyway, I hope y'all get some nice video. Leave me a comment how it's went for you. And if you have any questions on it, I will do my best to answer them. I always try. I reply to everybody. So, but anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. And if you're ever on Rumble, do the same thing. But anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.